Hey guys, thank you for joining us for another exciting episode of Yomo. This is the Year of Magical Learning Podcast. Today we have a, you know, a special, I guess, midday uh, podcast session. So, you know, Chris, as you can tell from his background, he's not in his uh, usual office. So yeah. he's out We're there show, showing us the, uh, you know, the, the livelihood of uh, Indiana at its finest. So, but yep. today we're doing part four or five of the book, uh, How to Think Like a Monk. And, you know, I think you know what uh, what we mean by, by that. But uh, let's get to it. Um, what you got, Chris? Yeah. Uh, so um, do you want to share your screen? Because I, I can't. Yeah. You know, but, uh, Let me share. Uh, but uh, the, um, the, the reflection for this part four or five is, is preach the gospel at all times and when necessary, use, use words. Um, so this is... Um, uh, this is this is something that I've had to learn pretty, you know, um, dramatically over the past couple of years, right? So, mm-hmm. you, you you and I know, you know, what we do, clubbing and, um, you know, living for two and 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 you know all all these different things and whatever your your, your purpose, you know, any anything that we're doing every single day, like you and I know what we're doing, and we don't mind talking about that, right? Like you know, we we like talking about it. this is what we get, this is what this podcast is, is we talk about you know, um, uh, what matters in this life and living a life of values and purpose and, and, um, and learning together and, and bringing that out in, into, uh, uh, into a conversation. Um, you know, unfortunately though, like this is, this isn't, this isn't like just some game, you know, we're not, we're not like playing around, you know, we're not out here, um, uh, you know, trying to be some expert to make money from somebody or whatever, you know, we're not, we're not trying to be this, this, this this social media influencer we're not trying to do anything other than just be ourselves and live our lives and um and and live and bring bring out the values that we care about most and what we do and say and um and one of the lessons that that i've that i've had to really stomach a lot um uh over this or not stomach that's a bad word one of the lessons i've had to like you know take on the chin i guess if you will um uh over the past couple years is um you know after after amelia had passed away and um uh you know, like the first six months or so of my life after that was lost in, in, in a, in a uh, you know, no idea what I was, what I wanted to do and reevaluating life and trying to figure out like what mattered, what didn't matter. And, um, you know, slowly but surely after, you know, figuring out through writing my the first book and, and, you know, your and I conversations and, and the club and conversations and other things that we started doing together, uh, you know, started to, uh, become a little more clear. Right. And, um, and that, that accumulation of all those different, um, uh, events and day in day out, day in day out of living your values and your and your purpose every single day, um, you know, started to compound and and like and to the point in time where like one of the things that I've always struggled with is when somebody ever asks you like what you know what what's going on these days. Uh, you and I talk about this every day. You know, almost when I when I ask you like, hey, you know, how is today? And you're like, oh, nothing happened. But I know a lot of things happened. You know, like, well, the thing is, things- this is what I'm saying is, you know, the 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 things that you do, the things that's important to you. This is supposed to be on top of your mind. For me, right, my top of the to-do list is nothing. That's my that's a good day for me. If your day is filled with like, hey, I want to be, you know, socializing, then if you say nothing, then something's wrong with you. Wait, because that's not you. That's not you, you know. And so that that's the thing is, whatever you do, I mean, the 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 entire saying, you know, preach the gospel at all times. I'm saying that if you don't. Talk about the things that are important to you. It's not important to you. Well, actually, I the, yes, I agree with that. But but there's a there's a twist to this, right? So so uh, uh, as 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 our journey has progressed, as the year of magical learning, this isn't just a year of magical learning. To be fair, this is a lifetime of magical learning. This is this is multiple years of accumulation of 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 knowledge and and conversations and and you know getting down on the valley floor and mixing it up and seeing what happens and doesn't happen. That, that results in these reflections every single day. And, um, and, and the truth of the matter is early on when somebody would ask me like, you know, what, what is, what is, what is all the stuff you're doing? And I would, and I would start to want to explain, but it's like, you know, and um, the more and more that I even tried, I was like, I don't, I don't, <laughs> there, you're not going to understand. And you don't really care to be honest with you. Like, I mean, nobody is going to sit there and give me, you know, eight hours of their time to, to explain all this journey that you and I've been on and all this journey that Amelia and I've been on and all the stuff that's gone on over the past, you know, few years and all the stuff that, you know, that I want to do to come in, in my life. And, uh, and, and it made me, you know, like it, it, 
it made me think about this quote when I was reading this book and, and, uh, and, and they mentioned this quote in the book as well. And, um, I, and it's really, I stopped talking about it, honestly. Like, I just don't, I don't, whenever somebody asks me like, where does this come from? Or why does this, what am I doing X, Y, Z? I just, unless they like, I can tell when nobody really wants to know and when somebody doesn't really want to know. So what I do now is, you know, you can preach the gospel without speaking. And that's by living a life of values and living a life of action and doing the stuff that you say that matters to you most. Right. Those are the things that ultimately people end up seeing me do now. And then they ask me, what is this about? Like, why are you doing, what, why are you posting all these things on, on LinkedIn or something like that? Why are you, you know, uh, what, what is this podcast that you and true are doing every single night? Like what is, what is club in or something along those lines? When they ask me this stuff, then I go, Oh, okay. Now we can actually have a conversation, right? Because it was my actions that led them to want to inquire about what I'm doing. Not just the, the, the casual, like you meet somebody at a party and they're like, so what's new these days? And you're like, well, you want to know what's new? Like, you know, there's, there's a million things that are new in my life and why I do what I do and not do. But like really at the end of the day, they don't care. Like it's, it's the people that, that, uh, they see your actions every single day that ultimately they get curious about it and then they want to know, and then you can talk about it. Right. Then, then you have the, everybody has the free license to, to, to say what they want to say, but it came from your actions. It didn't come from your words. Like people can say whatever the hell they want to say, but it's, it's when you're living your values every single day and it's coming out in, in the, in, in the activities that you do in the, in the, in the meaningful work that you produce that others start to then take notice and then want to ask questions. And that's what I want to start the conversation for. So, so that was the quote from St. Francis of Assisi. It was, you know, preach the gospel at all times, but when necessary, use words. Like you shouldn't probably, you and I don't really need to talk about what clubbing is. Like, you want to know what clubbing is? Like there's plenty of, there's plenty of content and, 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 uh, and meaningful work that we produce that you could go do your own exploration and then come back to us and ask us a poignant question about what is this and why, why do you guys think this way or something like that? Then we could probably talk, right? Like, um, uh, but, but you know, it's, yeah, I, you get my point, I think. So anyway, love, love to get your thoughts. Yeah, I mean, I think this goes back to what we're saying. You, know, you have to be authentic. And, and, and if you're not authentic, because when you go to a social setting, people ask you, hey, how's it going? What's the highlight of your day? They're not being authentic. They just want to be polite. Right. Because and, and so <laughs> when, when you when and you and I both know and we, we know that they don't want to hear the things, you they know, they, just, they don't care. Right. But the thing is, this is what we're saying is, you know, I don't want to be a philosopher. I want to be a practitioner, meaning right. that I mean, the same thing with what you're saying, preach the gospel at all time, meaning live the values that you believe in and not to say, hey, I, I, I go and say this because like, like you and I, like I don't talk to anyone who doesn't have an interest. But if they have an interest, I would talk to that person all day. Only right. if they have a genuine interest. Because, I mean, if you live your core value or you practice your core value, you practice whatever you believe in, people are going to have a genuine interest. And, and you and I can see that. And then that's when it is exciting and very interesting to have a conversation. But when exactly. somebody goes and says, hey, you know, how's your day? Right? What do you do? What is this, this company? They don't really, they don't give a shit. Okay, they just being polite. This is how this is this is what people have this, uh, this like. It's a self machine. I mean, like let's just let's call it what it is. They care about themselves, and that's what they care about, and that's fine. Like that is not like uh, there there is no meaningful work for us to connect on, right? Like you know, right. there is that's there is no meaningful relationship. We don't right? talk there, about it, <laughs> right? <laughs> because there's right. no there's no need to waste effort and say, hey, you know, I have all the blah blah blah. You know, so what's the, what's the point? Hey, you're just doing lip service. Right. There's or just no bragging. Gen- or, or there's just no humble general- bragging or, you know. Yeah, go ahead, sorry. And, and it feels weird. You think about it. If, yeah, if somebody's it not receptive of the idea of what you're trying to do, it seems weird because there's not a connect. If, if you talk to me and I go this, okay, can you have a conversation with me? No, if you talk to me and I, 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 don't, I don't nod, right? I mean, I'm not listening. So there's no right. point. I mean, you're gonna stop talking because the thing is, we have this this the EQ, right? The EQ that we have, we can send someone when someone is not interested, and we even know when someone's not interested even before we speak, right? They can say, you know, hey, how you doing? You know, uh, any interesting, interesting? Right. What's you know, what, what's your what's your um, you know, highlight of the day? Blah, blah. There's a bunch of life hacks that people tell you, but I can tell you that if I lie to you, you can tell. If I were not interested, you can tell. If I'm not like receptive of the thing you say, you can tell because if you say right. something in a different meaning and I go out into another tangent, I may use the same word, 
but I'm I'm a different tension. Maybe we're talking about addiction, right? Let's we talk about addiction. Addiction for us, from for me and you, we understand addiction isn't a good thing or a bad thing or on in itself, right? But right. I can I can say Just addiction anything. is a bad thing, right? Or I can take a, about addiction that is like alcoholic or blah blah and 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 go down this tension when you trying to say like addiction could be a good thing where you are very committed and passionate about the things you do and you love it so much it becomes a quote quote addiction. So in the context of something we say. It has that that the receptivity. Without his receptivity, you know this guy doesn't. He just right. spouting nonsense to you, and right. the conversation becomes boring because you, your brain it's, it's, mean, it's meaningless. It's, it's, it is it's, meaningless. It's, it's meaningless. It's it's a meaningless conversation, and and like I'm okay with meaningless conversation if you know that it's meaningless conversation. But if you're trying to make a meaningless conversation meaningful, then then like then that's are you forcing it? That's forcing it. Right. And, and not only right. is it forcing it, it's, it's, um, it comes across as preachy. It comes across as, right. um, it, it comes it, across it as holier worse. than thou. It, yes. Right. Like, uh, um, and nobody wants that. Nobody wants to be, you know, lectured, you know, like, oh, here's how you live a life of purpose or something like that. Like, like, that's not even what we're even trying to say. It's like, this is how we are living a life of purpose. Like, I'd love to share that with anybody. But like, the truth is, is not everybody wants to hear that. Like, and, and they don't, and it's not the, and I'm not offended by that. And, and I'm not, a, it, it doesn't offend me. They don't want to hear about my daughter or how she's changed my life or, or, or like where all this stuff came from, you know, a, a part, this is one of the reasons why, I mean, I've told you this, you know, many a times already, but like, it's worth reiterating. I actually don't really like talking about, I can't imagine. Honestly, it's awkward for me these days. Whenever somebody reads the book and they want to talk about it, I'm like, I, I don't, I don't really want to, you know? Um, I mean, you guys, you guys read what I, I, I wrote what I wanted to write. And I, because I wanted like to I say, you know, it's, it's not genuine. But if you think about right. it. Let's say, let's say I, uh, I read the book, right? And then I asked you a question, you know, you know, what happened? Can you tell me what happened? I say, fuck, read the book. Right. Yeah. I don't, I mean, I don't you, want to talk you, about it. That's you, why I didn't you, you, I mean, the thing is, Unless there's something specifically in the book that you don't understand or you didn't discover and ask for the specific, then I think right. it is very, very natural for you to, to elaborate on it. But if I go to you and say, hey, I read your book. It's a great book, right? What am I saying? I said nothing. There's no, right. I mean, that I did not read your fucking you know, thing. Is I did not even fucking take the time to read the book because the book spells everything out and you, you see everything. So... When you connect with you, right? If 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 I have to say, Chris, you know, tell me about your daughter. What do you mean? What, what do you want me to tell me? What what do you want to want to say to you? Right? Ask right. me something specific. And to me, that's why it's awkward because it's not genuine. So somebody pretends to care, quote unquote, care, and they say, hey, you know, uh, it, it's it's a moving story, Chris. You know, okay. What do you want me to say? What do you right. want? What do you want the other person to say to you? Hey, it's a great book. Okay, it's inspiring. That doesn't equate to anything in my mind because these are just no, concepts no, yeah. that, that 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 is is like I said, you know, and we're talking about the 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 remembering self and and the experience self, right? Because if, if you if you trying to wrap a concept up, like I told you, hey, I had fun on Sunday. Mm-hmm. That could mean a million things, or it could mean it means nothing, <laughs> right? But I say, yeah, hey, right. you know, so I, sure. I did this, I did that. So that's more something specific. So to me, that's right. why when when somebody has a conversation with you that doesn't have a genuine interest, then our EQ kicks in and and gives you that sense, hey, this is a bunch of BS. So that's why it feels weird. So for me right. and you, we talk about me all day long. I mean, every day, yeah. whenever. I mean, I lo- whenever I, 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 don't get me wrong. I love to talk about Amelia. I mean, like, I will, but I will talk about Amelia all day, every day. When somebody has a genuine day. interest in that right. and understand the background story, then it is it is engaging. But if if it's not, somebody is trying to be nice to be polite or trying to start conversations or whatever you ask me a, 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 a generic question it's like okay it's good tell me a bit more okay when what way you want me to tell more right you know yeah and then, and, no, and, I, then, I, then, I, and then if i don't say anything more insightful and say well you don't you don't understand what i'm trying to say then right. the conversation ends right there so i think i think that's where that's where i I basically say, you know, I'm not going out there. And this is what I, I told you about this before, be, way, way before, in, in many, many early episodes. I don't really care. I don't want to tell anyone about anything unless you ask. If I'm not going to go to the table, hey, you know. G- g- genuinely ask. Like, mean, meaningful, a meaningful question 
leads to a meaningful conversation, mm-hmm. which leads to a meaningful work, which means to lead, lead, which leads to a meaningful relationship, sorry, which means leads to meaningful work, right? Like right. it's, it's, it's gotta be genuine. You gotta actually care about what you're asking. Like I, there's nothing that I hate more than when somebody asks me a question when they don't want to know the answer. Like one, one of my, one of my best friends, um, uh, he, his name's Kevin. I love him like to death. I've known him since obviously since I was like five years old. And, mm-hmm. um, and Kevin's like genuinely one of the nicest people you will ever meet in your life. Um, however, he, he loves to have everybody love him. And, uh, and, and he's, and he's developed this, 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 skill if you want to call it um uh, of whenever he's around people he like really tries to dive in deep as to something that's it tries to find a connection point between people so he always ends up asking questions um you know all the time which is great like there's not once again there's nothing wrong with any of this stuff i've just i've been on the i've seen this in in social settings with him so many times where i'm like what kevin why are you trying to get to know this person so much like you could like these questions just feel so forced like and, and i and i get why he wants to make that connect. he's trying to make that connection and he loves to make a connection with people like that's what he that's his meaningful work it, it was making connections with people but, but, I, it but seems, i'm sitting there well, on, it, on it the, seems uh, forced don't you think you know, i mean it, I, I, i've been to the mean. end yeah. to end to to many of these conversations where it's like it, it's not natural. I just, I just feel right. weird. I mean, I feel weird answering this question. Saying like, you shouldn't be answering this question. There's no, there's no interest in it. Why, why bring it up? You're like, so, exactly. So me, I mean, I think everybody you have to genuinely. The questioner has to genuinely have an interest in what you want to know. And the only way that you have a genuine interest in what you want to know is if you either see them do something, or you, or you, or you read or or consume something that was a byproduct of what they produced. Right. Like those two things are are what prompts in my opinion genuine questions about people's lives like how are you going to ask like if you and i just met on the street like like what genuine question am i going to ask you i would go so you're asian so what's it like being asian you know and you would go what the fuck does that even mean like you know and i'm like i don't know i just <laughs> where did that come from that's all, that's, all, that's all i know about you is like i just met you for the first time and you're 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 asian where are you from and you're like oh, i'm from houston and i'm like oh okay well where are you you know like what's houston like and you're like you know, it's a, it's a city. And I'm like, Oh, okay. Um, what's, uh, what do you do in Houston? We do, we do stuff and you know, um, Exist. you know, you know like, and, and, and you're like, okay, so, all right. Uh, what do you do for work? You know, well, you know, I, 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 I do stuff, you know, and, um, and I make money, I guess it to support my life. And, and like, I mean, I'm not trying to be like, a, it's almost like a Bill Belichick, you know, you know, like you ever seen like a Bill Belichick, uh, news conference afterwards when, when he's like, super short or like Greg Popovich when he'll give like a press conference uh-huh. where they ask him like, you know, what, what were your thoughts of the game today? We lost. Oh, okay. Any other thoughts? We could do better. You know? Oh, okay. you know, I mean, it's like, whatever these, like these like basic one word answers, because the truth is that they don't care. Like nobody wants, like, and he doesn't is, care. <laughs> he doesn't care. He's like, I don't, I don't want to answer your question. And, and, and you don't want to even ask this question, but, but you get paid to do this and I get paid to do this. So we're here to do this. So let's do this, you know? Um, uh, it, it, but it's, it's totally different. I'm sure if you, I'm it, sure. It, it feels if you, strange. It's just like, you know, feels. for example, you know, I know you're, you're a good salesperson, right? And they say, hey, Chris, um, I want to pick your brain a little bit. Now, I, I want to, I wanna, you know, market a product and, and I want to, I, can, can you show me how? And you ask me, what kind of product? You know, uh, you know, just, you know, um, subscription product. Something. Yeah. You know, right. Yeah. Right. The thing okay. is, I don't want, <laughs> so, by what I'm saying to you, by what I'm, uh, what I'm responding to you, you know, I don't have the need to to want to know the answers to to this thing. I'm just trying to make a conversation because right. if, if I have a need, I have a specific product, I have a specific problem, it dives right into it. But I'm right. saying, you know, you know, a a a, a SaaS product or right. blah. It's like it, you're trying to dodge the, the the you know, I guess the, the topic itself. And so when when that happens, there is not a genuine inquiry i don't have a genuine inquiry and i don't have a genuine interest in Me- learning. meaningful curiosity is what i'm going to call it meaningful exactly. curiosity because yeah, right. I, because it wasn't it was authentic because you think about right. it if i have a specific problem that i'm trying to solve then i'm going to go straight to it hey i have this product it does this right. blah 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 and i can't cool get this blah, blah blah right and that means that i have a generous interest in asking for your advice but if i'm asking for hey you know your expert you know how would you how would you sell me a pen? Right? So I don't I don't fucking care. I don't like pens. I don't sell pens. I don't use pens. I don't, I don't is, use pens. I don't the like, thing is, like, this, yeah. is this is this is this is me and you being authentic because you know I right. would say, hey, 
why would I sell you a pen? I don't I don't sell pen. But right. in 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 the in the reality, people were trying to be polite, polite and say, okay, well, pretend if you had to sell a pen, blah blah, and you kind of go through this and now. I, I would ask him. Really I would ask him. Do you, do you need a pen? Do you, do you need a pen? <laughs> no. Well, then I'm not going to sell it to you. Like, okay, all right, have a good one. Do but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, right? right that that conversation <laughs> feels weird for the both person. Right. It does. It. It's, it's like <laughs> it's, it's, it's it's oh my god, man. One of my um uh. uh former employees of mine that's it's become like a good friend of mine he uh his name's nash he's like this guy is like legitimately like the most interesting man in the world kind of dude like he's been like a a ballroom dancer a rock quarry um you know uh um worker you know uh, he's been a you know top sales producer he's been a uh he, he runs the roofing company i mean this guy like you know like he it's he's his 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 uh, he's like a metrosexual like farmer you know, redneck, <laughs> you know, urban person, like, you know, it's, it's like, he, he's, he's hilarious. Like everything about him is like, uh, is like it's just super unique. Right. Well, um, uh, he's, he's also very, um, genuinely like, you know, just a nice human being and always like makes, brings, gets, brings, brings the best out in people in general. Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh, sometimes when he, when he drinks a little bit too much, he gets a little bit, you know, a little too, you know, uh, uh, um, his, his like his like normal inner self comes out a little bit more and he, and he just you know asks these like some of these the most ridiculous questions or asks people to do the most ridiculous things sometimes um, anyway long story short what I'm getting at too is uh, this I'm just trying to set the stage with Nash is a super unique weird dude right mm-hmm. you know but everybody mm-hmm. loves him but at the same time he can he can quickly cross the line of of Nash what do you like this isn't this isn't cool anymore Nash like stop <laughs> it you know so uh, uh, one, one of these one of these days in particular um, my uh, I have a good friend of mine that I went to grade school with that I'm so friends with now her name's Lori, and she has a um a 20 year old son um he is like really good he's a really really good dancer like i like a like a hip-hop and you know um uh classical and conserv uh, uh what do you call it a contemporary dancer like he, mm-hmm. he's he's like he's he's been training in this stuff his whole entire life and he's a professional dancer now um and he uh, uh you know does like you know plays and you know and and he does uh um, he teaches and and he does choreography and he's like he's really 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 good um well this kid was down at my parents lake house and um and nash was down there um last summer and uh and 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 he was you know he was just he was a little too drunk and he was asking isaiah he was like (laughs) he was like an 18 year old at that time like like what do you, what do you do you know and he was like oh you know i love to dance and he was like oh oh you're a dancer Dan- well, well then dance dance and he was like and he and he was like i can't just dance nash and he was like but you're like a you know a prof- you know professional dancer like just go do it you know and he's like i can't i can't i can't just do it was the most comical situation ever this went on for like like an hour of him going just get up and dance and he's like i can't just dance nash like you know it's not like a, and uh but th- this is th- this is kind of what you, you reminded me of when we were talking about that is like like it's it's like you know yeah i'm a salesperson or something like send that. me yeah, something send me that like, go, go, true just go code it like just go code it out like you know it's fine just just do it you know yeah. and you're like i that's not how it works like you know i have to like you know um anyway it's just funny yeah <laughs> yeah it is funny yeah because yeah. So you think about it just dance. i mean it's awkward right you think about it, it even, is. Even, <laughs> even, even imagine being in Isaiah's shoe you know it's it's yeah he was, he was he was he was embarrassed you know he's like what what is wrong with this guy you know like I, like i'm not a monkey you know like uh, and then he doesn't yeah. give up i mean you have to talk yeah. for, an, for an hour that means that he's, he's not giving up he wants to see this guy dance it, it, was, it was pretty funny though um, and the thing uh, is that's, <laughs> a, that's the thing it, it's hard to end a conversation when you're trying to be polite you know because i think right. it's if you authentic and say, "Look, I can't dance. Sorry, you know, uh, I'm. I don't really care if I disappoint you because uh, <laughs> it's not my prerogative, I right? right? I don't. I don't really care. So, but that's the thing is the reason why it continues on for the next hour is because you know they they're trying to be polite. Say, I can't dance. You gotta yeah. find all these reasons why you can't dance. Blah blah blah. And other people can find flaws in the reasoning. Blah blah blah. So. It's a whole hour of awkwardness. It's a whole hour right. of running for right. So for me, for me, the thing is, I I bet you Isaiah don't want to see a uh, national game. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Actually, every every year, um, so we always have this like late house weekend. Um, uh, we, every every year for the past like, it's almost been like eight, probably eight years now. I've I've like hosted uh, just a bunch of friends down to uh, at my parents' lake house. You mm-hmm. know, we're you know just commandeer the house for for the weekend or whatever, and we just go down there and have a really good time. Um. Uh, 
Nash is always one of those people that's down there with us. And um, um, Lori, uh, Isaiah's hu- uh, husband, uh, Isaiah's bad. mother, um, uh, you know, she, uh, we always invite her down and she's, she started probably coming like maybe like five years ago. So they've probably come the past like five years. And Isaiah, mm-hmm. he was coming back when he was like 15, 16, 17 years old. And, you know, the first couple of years that he met Nash, he was like, man, that guy's crazy. You know, he would like see us afterwards and he was like, what the hell's wrong with that guy? You know, and uh, <laughs> uh, eventually by the time that he got to be 18, that was when this whole thing happened. It was about like, I think this is two years ago, maybe, or last year. I can't remember. But um, uh, no, it had to have been two years ago because last year um, Nash, uh, uh, Lori, Lori was coming and, and Isaiah was at um, University of Alabama is where he went to school for his freshman year. And mm-hmm. um, uh, uh, Lori, Lori had texted me like, hey, are we doing the Lake House, you know, uh, uh, weekend again? And I was like, yeah, she was like, Isaiah is going to be in town for summer. You know, he'd love to come down. And she was like, only if Nash isn't going to be there. And she, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, right. Like, like, tell him about the, the kids is gone for life. I mean, it, it, it's an it, awkward it, conversation. I mean, it, it even, is. even <laughs> I feel awkward. No, no. I, I, I mean, it's like, it's, it's, it's difficult because then people would understand, you know, people sense your, your, the awkwardness in, in, in ingenuine, um, you know, uh, ness of, the right. conversation and so it's not <laughs> somebody's not going to connect so you cannot build meaningful relationship if that's where you start up with now that's what i'm saying is you no know, unless there's a genuine inquiry then it's like a meaningful conversation if right. there isn't a genuine inquiry then everything else is just you know you just to me it's fake i mean it's, i don't know it's what just, else say it's a waste of time is what it is and honestly like some people may argue that it's not because meeting people, you never know when, you know, like what, whatever. I don't, I don't know. I mean, we could argue about that if we want to, but at the end of the day, like the, the point of this reflection was, you know, I don't, I'm tired of talking. Like is the point. Like, I don't, I don't want to talk about living for two. I just do living for two. You know what I mean? Um, and right. Uh, because that, and, and, that's, that's, that's completely a hundred percent agreement. You, you have to be you, right. You have to right. do whatever that makes you, you know, the, a, a happy person. Because right. if, if you talk, talk is not, um, it's not, it's just basically pretending. Well, do, right. do you remember Zach and Amber when, when Amber was telling us about her friends that she was like talking to about the core values quest and trying to get them to do stuff? And I was like, I, I, I think I remember having this conversation with Amber one time. And, and I uh-huh. think you, you, you probably did as well, where it's like, it's like, you don't need to talk about this stuff with people. Like, you know, just do it. And if they say, Oh, that's interesting. What are you, what are you doing? And you didn't talk about it, but like, you don't want to like, just go walk into friend circles and be like, Hey, I'm, I'm doing whole 30, you know, or I'm doing, you know, keto, you know, whatever, like, you know, you know how, you know, when you meet a CrossFitter, when you're talking about CrossFit, <laughs> the first thing, yeah, is all they talk about is CrossFit. You know, you, you know how you know when somebody went to Harvard. You know, it's the first fucking thing they'll Harvard tell you. Right? Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. Um, when I was at Harvard, blah blah blah. I, was, uh, I don't give a right. shit. <laughs> right. I, I don't. I don't. No one cares. You know, like it's it's like, oh, hey, you know, you drive a Tesla. Fuck, cool. Like, you know, you have a car. I have a car too. Like, it goes from point A to point B. I don't really care what your car is. You know, unless I've shown you in some way, shape, or form that I'm like big into cars, then you could say. Oh yeah, I've investigated a lot of cars. I drove a lot of cars, and here's how I decided on my Tesla. Like, what do you think about it as a car expert? Like, that's a genuine question because you actually care about somebody. And you have a meaning, and that could I mean, potentially me, produce if, a meaningful if, if, yeah, conversation. Even, even in that conversation, it become pretentious because you you like cars, but you don't have a problem, right? right. right. Because yeah, it, like, if I ask you, Chris, you know, you're a, you're a good salesperson. You've been doing sales for the next right. 20, 25 years, all right? Show me how to sell. Well, do I need to know how to sell? I'm just asking you just because. True. Unless yeah. I have a real problem, you know, I, I'm losing money left and right. <laughs> I, I need some help, right? And then right. I, that's, that's genuine. But if, if somebody says, I have a Tesla and my Tesla does this, right? It is a fucking problem that it annoys the heck out of me. Okay, you're, you're an expert. Can you help me? That is right. a genuine inquiry. But if you say, hey, I love cars, you know, you're a car expert, you know, hey, what do you think about cars? That feels forced to me. It's all. Yeah, what, no, what, what am I going to say? If you ask me, hey, I'm, I'm a car expert, okay, what do you think about it? About what? In what in particular? If you ask me, hey, yes. I'm, I'm a coder, right? Hey, tell me about coding. You know, how to be a good coder. Well, what, what about coding? Yeah. Like, uh, yeah what yeah, what yeah. about it? 
it's, it's no different than asking somebody to dance. Like, you're like, what, do you, what kind of dance do you want me to dance? You know, what kind of song do you want me to dance to? What, what, you know, what, what, what kind of setting do I need to be in? Do I need enough space? Like, you know, what, what, just what do you dance, want me to Isaiah, do? Just right, dance. Just dance. <laughs> <laughs> like, and, you, know, you know, I mean, like, to, to your, uh, it's such a good point because it's like, it's, it's not, it's not genuine unless you have a problem. Like, unless you, and, and that problem, I mean, I think the, I think the, the takeaway that I'm going to take from this conversation is, um, uh, if you have a genuine problem, that'll lead to a genuine question. That genuine question will lead you to find, you know, to seek out answers from from people um, uh, that that genuinely could help you. And those people will genuinely want to help if you genuinely have a problem about something they can genuinely help about. And yeah. then, therefore, all these things turn into meaningful work and meaningful relationships. You know, that that spawn from that, right? But it, it all it all starts from you know actually having something that matters to either you or no, just to you, really. I mean, it's really just to you. Like, don't ask me a question about, about, you know, living a life of purpose, unless you are trying to figure out how to live a life of purpose, you because know, and, there's and no need you know, to, because you don't, right. you don't, you're talking about, Hey, you know, if, if I'm asking you about a life of purpose, right. Living for two. What's the purpose? Why am I asking? What's the why in it? What's the why know. in it? Yeah. Unless I want, I have a similar problem. I say, hey, Chris, I see you live this life, right? And I see the result that I want. I want to understand how to get from where I'm at to where you are. Right. That's a genuine inquiry. But right. the, thing is, if, the thing is, I can't go out there and say, hey, you know, I'm, I'm the best salesman. I can go and tell you the best salesman. But the thing is, am I really a best salesman? I cannot say that I'm a best salesman unless I go out and sell. There's, there's, there's like results. There's, there's like... Right. The history of how I sold something or, you know, whatever it is, because I can go and claim something. That's what I'm saying is, you know, what, what you say is, you know, you got to push up our gospel at all times, meaning you have to be a practitioner. But right. you say you do, exactly. you do, you do you, right? And if somebody say, okay, there's something that I see in Chris that I like, and I want to be like that, right? Then there is going to have this genuine inquiry. You say, hey, Chris, you are doing this. How are you doing it? Because I right. have a similar problem, it may help me. Because there is a there is a, a a desire to understand that specifically versus just a polite conversation. Say, hey, you know, I want to see, you know, what make Chris six. You know, what? Okay, where where do we start? Where do we end? You know, and there is nothing specific about asking somebody, hey, what do you do? Where you're from? You know, you know, go dance. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, you're, you're so, right. So the like, thing even, is, even... Is, 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 is about being a practitioner. To me, the takeaway from this is, you know, you practice what you believe. Words, words, that's words don't you, mean shit. That's it's, all you need. Yeah. I, I agree. Words, words don't, words are worthless. Um, and unless they're, unless they're backed up by actions, um, and the actions is what appeals to, to yourself and anybody else as well. Like in terms of, like, if they want to learn, you know, I, I, I totally, you know, I mean, I, I used to think, you know, people that, that, that talk to, now I don't, I don't want to say, I don't want to discount talking, you know, cause like talking is important. Like I'm, I'm not saying that it's when necessary use words, right? Like when somebody well, really thing, genuinely it, wants to know, I'm, I'm happy that, to talk. They, there's two parts to this, right? The first part is preach the gospel at all time, meaning live the belief and then you use word if necessary. So, so the thing is the words isn't the primary directive. The word is just a supporting directive because the word el elaborates on what it is you're doing because I can do certain things, but I mean, it's hard for, for people to understand what I'm doing unless they have the ability to say, well, I can, I, I can, I can lay it out for you. I can give you step-by-step -step of how I did or where I came from or my recount the history and the memories of how I, I got from point A to point B. So the right. word is only a supporting role. It is not the source of what you need to talk about because you have to talk about something. You can't just right. talk about talk, right? It, it has to have some kind of a of a, a, a an object, some type of a goal, a purpose, whatever that is. It, it is it is the primary objective. The words are just an elaborations of that thing concept or whatever you want to you want to you know label it but you know you cannot have the word without having the the practice 
So, exactly. so I, I, I'm saying is, you know, I agree with you in, in, in what you're saying is words is important, but it cannot go first. Yes, exactly. Uh, I, I mean, I think that's a, a great summary. I mean, I, I, I'm thinking as you're, you were talking about, you know, stuff in the past, like, like if I were to go up to talk to Novak Djokovic about tennis, right. And I would say like, Hey, I play tennis. You play tennis. Like, how do you, how do you, how are you Novak Djokovic? And he would be like, I don't know what the fuck that's, what does that even question mean? Like, I don't even know what that even means. Like, you know, teach me how to be Novak Djokovic. I can't teach you how to be me. But what, but if I went up to him and I said, Hey, Novak, I struggle really bad when I'm at the baseline and I hit a good shot and I get my opponent on the run and, and get them into a defensive spot. When I'm coming in to try to take out a ball out of the air around the mid court area, I feel like I always, you know, am screwing like what, how can I be in a better position at that? What, what do you do? How do you work through that? Cause you make you look so effortless and, and then he could give me guidance around that or something like right. that. Right. But it's, a, but it's, it's like, I, and I do this with my employees too. This is why I do the, how's your balance? You know, this is why I do like, you know, what's top of mind is the first question I ask him when, when I, when I start my one-on-ones with them, because like, they have to want to learn about something. I can't just come in there and say, Hey, I prepared this whole big lesson for you to learn about, you know, X, Y, Z to, cause I saw that you could improve skills in this area. Like if they don't fucking care, then they're not going to fix it. Like, you know, like it, it, it's just, it, it, it's never, it's never, it, if nobody, if they don't, if you don't care yourself, any question that you go ask of somebody else is, is, is it's just worthless. Honestly, like if you don't fucking care like yourself, like don't, don't ask a question of somebody like, ever like i mean like just <laughs> like if you don't if you don't really want to know the answer don't ask it right and this is what i do too you know it's like, like that's what i'm saying we talked about this before when you go to a wedding or some kind of party right and you sit next to a bunch of new strangers you know what did you say and what i what i do is you know people strike this meaningless conversation i don't say nothing it's like <laughs> if there's something i'm interested in i'll talk if not i just sit there i was like okay because I don't need to waste my time because <laughs> right. I'm a jerk that way, <laughs> but most people can't. Be I don't think, I don't think you're a jerk. I think, I think people that are, that are just trying to force a conversation are jerks. Like, you know, like, it, it, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's, 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 because, it's a delicate, because, you know, because to be honest, right. If I'm honest with myself, which is going to make me feel unstressed right i'm not stressed because i'm not saying something i don't mean so i'm always calm and collected because whatever i say i mean it so if you right. if you ask me a a bland question i'll give you a bland answer because i that's the truth there's nothing for me to say okay oh how's it been asian oh you know come up with because what do you well, how do you respond to that right because it's not like there's something <laughs> specific. so you're basically you're gonna make up something right Right. And, and, and thing is, for you to make up something, it's like, you got, for me, it, it basically contradicts my value, which is being authentic, right? And being yep. integrity. I can't just go and, and imagine some scenario and tell you, hey, Asian has the pros and cons, you know, blah, blah. No, I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about Asian in general. I'm just stereotyping. So right. that conversation is weird. And to me, it's work. If it I is. say, well, I don't know. I mean, what, what are you asking specifically? I, I don't know. If you, unless you have specific questions, I can't answer your question. And basically, most of, the, most of the conversation ends right there because they don't have an interest anyway. So they don't, they can't come up with a specific questions. Right. right? So, so that, that's what I'm saying is for me, is my conversation with a lot of people is very short. It's probably like a one sentence answer. Like I'm almost like Bill Belichick. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, but I, now, we now I, I I have further respect for Bill Belichick and Greg Popovich at that point in time because like like I think they genuinely know like I guarantee you I, I've because heard Greg as, Popovich as, talk as to, a as a uh, as a contract with the NFL with the media they, they have, have to do, to do right. the interview and Bill right. Belichick say I'm I'm a coach I don't need to go and pamper you you, you guys with this thing right so he said right. well we lost he, well what do you want me to say. I lost. I don't like it, right? What else can I say? When I'm not gonna right. sit there and, and and make up some kind of story about how you know oh, guys are having this excuse or that excuse or blah 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 right. blah, blah blah blah, right? You you just propagate. We gotta do stuff. better, or or we don't. You know, I mean, like it, it's a um, yeah I yeah I, I I agree. I actually have way more respect after this conversation, you know, um, for for people like that because it's 
I mean, to be fair, like, let's just be honest. Like, Greg Popovich and Bill Belichick are two people, if I had to, if I had to guess, probably live a life of purpose, you know? Um, and, and it's, and it's people like that, that are, that draw other people in and that want to ask them questions anyway, you know? And, uh, and I, and, and I mean, if Bill Belichick were to sit there and explain to you all of his, you know, philosophies every single day of, of how, you know, of, of what, he, what he's going to do and where areas he needed to focus on and how, you know, you know, the do your job and, you know, philosophy, you know, didn't work today or whatever, like, you know, it, it would be like, what, what, like, do, they don't really want, he would have to unpack like 50 yeah. years of his life to like give you an actual answer that made, that, that, that he would probably be proud to say to somebody. And at that mm-hmm. point in time, nobody really wants that answer. Um, and, and like, we're all, we're all going, Jesus Christ, is this guy going to shut up? Like, man, he just loves to hear himself talk, you know? And you're like, you're the one that fucking asked. Um, uh, and and, and, and it, it's, <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 people are fickle that way, right? I mean, you don't right. talk, they don't like it. You talk, they don't like it. You say, it can't please you. It's like, right, so right. why am I why am I putting out the effort to try to please you? But at an end, you're gonna have some some snub snub remarks about this and that and others. Like, well, I'm not gonna waste that with you. I have to be here. Okay, we lost. We gotta do better. Okay, next. Right. What what am I what am I what am I putting out the effort for? You're not. You're Where nothing. is my reward? Is, right. There I mean, is something. It isn't so. So for me, the people who does that, right? Yes, it seems like a joke, but I don't care. I don't really care. I mean, yeah. for me, for me, I have this reputation as black sheep already, I mean, and, and I like being. I don't really care if you say, "Well, you're this person." Okay. I mean, what do you want me to say? I'm not. Right. right. And so, so, so for me, is my 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 life is like I don't have a lot of words. There's something I worry, but it's genuine. But the things that you can, for me, you can't really peer pressure me into doing doing things. You, it's very hard, but you probably can. Right. But it's very hard because I don't really care what what people think, you know. And and and, and that's the thing is because of my character. My character is like if, if I were to fabricate something, it takes a lot of work for me to fabricate something and to tell you and keep up with the the facade, right? And, and the lies and all that. It's just exhausting for me. I just can't do it. I'd rather tell you the truth and say, hey, look. You don't have to like me. This is what I say. And for me, it's, I completely forget it. Like, I, I can tell you something that you it hurts you for weeks. I'm over it in the next two seconds. I'm going to have lunch or whatever. <laughs> it's like, yeah. you, you can hate me and you can, you can like have this, this, this grudge against me for years on. And I never know it. <laughs> I don't even feel a single thing. But you think about it. Is it benefit to me or be benefit to you for me to do that? Because why am I trying to, like for me, that's what I told you before is, it is okay to be misunderstood. And as in fact, for me, it's actually pretty, it's good to be misunderstood. Because I don't need to go out there and spend my effort to trying to correct your misunderstanding. Your misunderstanding is your fault, not my fault. Because you judge me before knowing the information. So I don't care if you say, hey, truth an idiot, truth a bad person, truth a this and truth. I don't care. Choose to use this person. Use use this man. You know he's a bad person. Blah blah. blah. It's your. I mean, I can't control what you think. I can't go in there and correct you. Hey, you know, Chris, you know, Chris. No, I'm not. I'm not a bad person. I, you know, I'm. Look, I, I'm an honest person, and I prove. I'll prove it to you. You know, I, I'll go and prove it to you. You have to take my word for it. You don't. You don't have to like it. I don't really right. care if you don't think I'm a. I'm an honest person. I say hi. I have a high integrity, right? And you say I don't believe you. True. Okay. I'm not gonna prove to Agreed. you, right? And so, so that's the thing is, there are certain things that is worth reserving your energy for, and there's certain things, or most things, are not. And so, you, you you get to the point where, if you practice what you believe, that all that matters, and that is the beacon for the people to 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 see you as as who you are and be attracted to to you as that character, and want to say, well, I have a similar characteristic, and I. I believe in the same uh, similar core values. I want to see if I can learn from that. And that's where you, you strike the conversation. A meaningful conversation becomes meaningful relationship. Meaningful relationship begets meaningful work. And I think this is what this is what I'm preaching is just be yourself because you basically are a, a beacon for people to say, hey, this person is like this, right? If you right. wrap yourself in something else, then other people are gonna mis- mistake you from for that characteristic and trying to to attract and bond with that characteristic 
And then later on, you unwrap it, and then, oh, you know, this is not what I want. And then they get mad at you, and then you waste your time, and they waste their time, and this whole spiral out of control. But if you genuinely want to be who you are, for one, is you have peace of mind. You have an- you have this this anchor in, in you that you don't have to worry about what people think. You don't have to worry about keeping up the facade. Because if, if, I, if I'm, I'm saying, hey, I'm not a, I'm not a good uh, salesperson, right? No one's going to ask me, hey, go, can you go sell, help me sell something? No one's going to ask me that. Because if, if I would say, well, if I'm not a good salesperson, and I say, well, I, I can sell. Yeah, so, so people say, well, if, if you can sell, it looks like you can sell. Ask them to sell. Well, that job is hard for me because I don't like it, right? You think about it. So why am I taking right. on a job that's hard? But the job that I like, whether, hey, is to build a cabinet or to go do some some gardening or like for you, you go play tennis or you teach tennis, for example, right? You know it's easy for you and it's actually fun for you. Hey, I can I can teach some, uh, you know, um, you know, a, a you know, a team a teenager how to how to play forehand backhand or whatever sure. yeah. it's easy versus hey you know chris i and you're a smart person you can code okay now somebody go hey chris can you teach me how to code then either you going to to reveal your true self with hey i fucking don't know how to code or you say pretend i can code and then you suffer through trying to teach somebody how to code go on google and chat gpt whatever <laughs> say hey can yes. you teach someone how to teach people how to code yeah. hey, what's the point <laughs> If you if you have to go to Chat GPT to <laughs> to get guidance on on what to do, then you're probably doing something you don't care about. Um, uh, in all in all seriousness, now it, that that to say that if you can't use Chat, Chat, you could definitely use Chat GPT if you're if you're something you care about and you're just trying to get a quick start, and then you could go you know elaborate from that and get eighty percent of the work done or something along those lines. But uh, but hey, but I, I, I but actually I, well, okay. I, I, I'm I saying actually it. gotta. Uh, okay, we're going we go. back on the road here. <laughs> uh, 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 but uh, uh, yeah, we'll have to we'll have to we'll have to wrap up here because I gotta I gotta I definitely gotta get back on the road and uh, uh, get on my way up there real fast. But uh, yeah. um, uh, that was a fun conversation, fun from the road. It's fun to it's a nice it's a nice change of scenery. I'm looking out at these you know windmills and and soybean patches and corn that hasn't started growing yet, but will be knee high by July is what the phrase yeah. is. So, uh, knee high uh, or yeah. like head high. I mean, it goes pretty fast. With those corn. Now it's head high. Now, now, now it's head high. Right? Like when, Basically like, same, like you, 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 you can't yeah. see, you can't see beyond the row because the, the, the oh, corn yeah. stalks are so high, right? It's probably like eight, oh. nine foot. And then yeah, you drive sure. through, you basically, you driving through the tunnels. <laughs> oh, for sure. Like the, that whole field that I was just showing you will be all probably, you know, like you said, seven, eight feet high in, in a couple months. But, um, but no, the, the original saying was knee high by July, but now it's like genetically modified seeds and yields and shit like that. Now, now it's like probably, probably, you know, head high by July, you know, but, but, but anyway, um, all right, that was, that was fun from, uh, uh, you know, change of scenery on the road, but, um, yeah, I got to get back on the, on the, on the highway, even though I don't want to. So, <laughs> um, uh, but it was fun talking, um, any, uh, any final thoughts? Yeah. Like I said, you, you, you gotta, you gotta practice, right? Practice what you believe in that all that you need to do, the rest will come. Agreed. I you, you don't talk unless unless you need to, uh, um, but but do what you need to do. Live your life the way you want to live your life. Always like as my as my sentiments and um, uh, and and then talk about it when people actually care. Um, yeah. and that's and that's fine. Yeah. Um, awesome. All right, man. Well, it's good seeing you. I will. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow night. See you tomorrow and, night. Um, uh, have a good rest of your day. You too. See you. Awesome. Have a, have a right, see you.